Let's take a look at the modified problem from the Purple Comet Math Meet 2021. Pause the video, give a try, and resume when you're ready. As you can see, there are lots of powers of 2 in this equation, so I might just let u equals 2 to the x, and so this term will become 2 to the 4x, and that means u to the 4. This will be 1 over u, and then for 4 to the x, it is actually u squared, 2 to the minus x is 1 over u again, and this is u. So the equation becomes u to the 4 plus 1 over u plus 1 equals this number times u squared plus 1 over u minus u. Now multiply both sides by u. That will have u to the 5 plus u plus 1 equals this number times u cubed minus u squared plus 1. Now the magic trick is that this polynomial is actually factorizable. In fact, I can rewrite the polynomial at the left-hand side to be u to the 5 minus u squared plus u squared plus u plus 1. I'm going to explain how I got this separately at the end of the video. Then, for the first bit, which is u to the 5 minus u squared, that is u squared times u cubed minus 1 plus u squared plus u plus 1. The second bit, over here. And so I'll keep copy, cop, keep copy in the right hand side. And I have u squared times u minus one times u squared plus u plus one, added by u squared plus u plus one, equals this. Now there is a common factor on the left hand side, which is u squared plus u plus one. So, and what remains are just exactly u cubed minus u squared plus 1. So that means either I will have u cubed minus u squared plus 1 to be equal to 0 because they are on both sides, or I will have u squared plus u plus 1 to be equal to 129 plus 8 root 2. For the first case, u cubed minus u squared plus 1 equals 0. Notice that the so-called u here is actually 2 to the x. And regardless of the power, whether it's positive or 0 or negative, this power is always positive. So we only have to focus on um, u being positive. Now, u cubed minus u squared plus 1 is equal to u squared times u minus 1 plus 1. Now, if u is at least 1, then of course, this is always at least 1, so that's positive. Now, if u is between 0 and 1, then u squared times u minus 1, of course, is less than or I should say, it should be greater than minus 1. Because u squared here is positive, and of course it's less than 1. And for this part, it's negative, but still, it's less than 1. So when they multiply, it will be a negative number, but ignoring the sign, it's just a decimal that is between 0 and 1. So it must be greater than minus 1, and so we have u cubed minus u squared plus 1 is always positive. So no solution for this part. Now for the second case, we have u squared plus u to be 128 plus 8 root 2. So that means u squared plus u minus this number is equal to 0. Now notice that 
The square of this number, 8 root 2, is exactly 128. So it's a legit guess for um, a solution u to be equal to 8 root 2. Now to make it simpler, I'm going to factorize. I'm going to regroup terms first and then factorize. So the first part, u squared minus 128, I'm going to rewrite that as u minus 8 root 2 times u plus 8 root 2, simply because 128 is the square of 8 root 2 plus u minus 8 root 2 equal to 0. So I can take our common factor and then I'll have u plus 8 root 2 plus 1 equals 0. Now this is always positive because u is positive as explained in the first case. So therefore u equal to 8 root 2 which means 2 to the x is equal to 8 root 2 which is 2 to the power 7 over 2 or you can say 3.5 and so that's our answer. As for how I came up with an idea to factorize this polynomial, I actually tried to put this number, I pronounce it as omega, which is actually the primitive third root of unity, which satisfies the following. The first one is that this number omega cubed equals to 1, and omega is actually not equal to 1, so consequently omega squared plus omega plus 1 equals 0. If I put omega into polynomial and I get 0 in return, then that means the polynomial, say in this case, u squared plus u plus 1 will be a factor of this polynomial. So let's see. When I put omega into this, omega to the power of 5 plus omega plus 1 is equal to omega cubed times omega squared plus omega plus 1, which is exactly omega squared plus omega plus 1. So that means we have a 0. So knowing that this is a factor, I then try to make up some kind of omega square and a kind of a minus omega square at the front. So to um, make the steps more legit, but this is the idea that how this polynomial is factorized.